Warning and correction. Yes. Warning and correction. So I had an angelic encounter. Or you could say a, like a, yeah, an angelic encounter. And it was an encounter of Jesus having many crowns on his head, riding in the clouds on a white horse. Jesus' army rode behind him on a white horse. I saw an image of a lion with a sword, which looked like a beautiful radiant light coming out of his mouth. But it was a sword and it had like a shining star right on it, like on the handle part, a, a shining star. It was shining so, so bright with a little black ball on the top of the handle. <laughs> um. Oh yes. And so the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit with Jesus being the lion of the tribe of Judah. Then I saw below them, below that, below, you know, Jesus on the horse, his angel behind him on the horse, on a, both of them on white horses, and then a, a lion, a face of a lion with a sword coming out of his mouth. Below them on the earth was a man. I saw a man, an image of a man with his arms stretched out wide, stretched out, like stretched out wide open, and um, who appeared to be in a lake of fire. I saw a beast with horns on his head, and um, but the beast was like sitting a little bit higher than the man. He was sitting a, a bit higher than the man. Yeah, so that was that's that's what the Lord showed me. <clears throat> um, he showed it to me on my it was on my video footage camera on my camera, you know, my 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 surveillance. And I think he showed it to me like that because he knows that I'm afraid of horror movies, and you know, horror movies they're in color. <laughs> and all that blood and stuff and fire and just evilness and all of that kind of stuff all that kind of stuff it'll scare me if i watch it on horror movies so that's why i don't watch horror movies because he knows the lord know i'm afraid of him so i believe that he showed it to me on my camera footage because i was you know i was praising and worshiping like i do at home praising and worshiping and then it was like the holy spirit told me to check my camera footage after i finished praising and worshiping him so I checked the camera footage and that's what it was. It was like, like, I, like he showed me stuff like orbs, but it was an orb and it shot past so fast, like, shoo, like, you know, like a big ball of white light, like, shoo. but then it revealed itself as everything that I'm telling you, I'm describing it. It revealed itself as that, you know, the image. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So, you know, you could slow it down and blow it up, you know, pause it and make it big so you could see. And that's what I did. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And so the Lord, he let me see that. So then the Holy Spirit quickened my, my spirit with the scripture. But I want to first give God the praise, honor, and the glory for his goodness. For he is worthy to be praised. Lord, I just thank you. Give your people an ear to hear and a heart to receive his word. Hmm. Let it fall on good ground, Abba. Anything that comes in, in this presence that try to hinder this video will hinder the YouTube videos and hinder this video. This uploading of podcast, Father, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Father, and by your judgment fire, by your blood and your might, burn down any evil altar of wickedness, anything that's not of you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And I welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. Yeah, y'all, I'm just like my heart is beat, is racing, because I like get I like giving you know happy words to people, <laughs> you know blessings and favor and overflow and riches and abundance and stuff like that. But I know at times the Lord has me give correction, a warning. And that's why he made me title it. He told me to title it warning and correction. And it's a prophetic word because all word from God is, is, is prophetic. It's prophecy. Jesus is prophecy because it happens. It will happen, you know. So this will happen. And I don't know when, but I know at 11.15 p.m. on the 8th, that was on the 8th that he gave me this. And today is, today is the 10th. And I didn't, yeah, it was the 8th. Today is the 10th. And I didn't give a, um, make a video because I didn't know I was supposed to make a video. And I didn't know, I didn't even know the interpretation of it, you know. So then the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit when I was praising and, wor praising and worshiping last night. Early in the morning, this morning, you know. From last night to early in the morning because I start, you know, I start like 11 I started at like at 11 something and then it went on through all the way to like after 12, you know, one something in the morning, you know, I praise him and worship, praise and worship. I pray, 
pray and worship God all throughout the day. So that's when the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit, y'all, with these scriptures. Revelations 19 chapter 11 through 21st verses. Excuse the noise, y'all, because I'm sitting outside on my patio. So anybody walking past the house making noise, that's not me. But um, Revelation 19 chapter 11 through 21st verses. The coming of Christ the conqueror. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. He who is riding it is called faithful and true. Trustworthy, loyal, incorruptible, steady. And in righteousness he judges and wages war on the rebellious nations. His eyes are a flame of fire, and his head are many royal crowns. Oh, yeah. And did I tell y'all that on the horse, he was on the horse, and he had, I think I told you, yeah, he had the, the crowns, many crowns on his head. He was in the clouds on a white horse. Yeah, and I said that his um, angel behind him was on a white horse as well. Yeah, and then the lion, the head of the lion, with the mouth open and a sword coming out the mouth, was behind the angel. Okay, and then remember, below on the earth was a man, and he was in a lake of fire, and he had his arms stretched out wide, and then on the side, like on the side, like a little bit above him, kind of, kind of like parallel to him, it was um, it was um the beast, and it had horns. It had a horn on each side. Oh yeah, and so he showed it to me. Like I said, I think he showed it to me. On my video footage because it was like cloudy you know like it looked like it was all clouds it was like made like a cartoon like clouds and it wasn't scary it kind of looked scary with the little dark dark images you know some of the dark images like the beast the dark horns and the, the dark man and then you know and it just gave me chills i even had to show my fiance i showed it to him this morning before i made this video before i made the um youtube video but Anyway, like I was saying, on his head was many royal crowns. And on the um on a video footage, the image of Jesus, it had like it showed me like I saw three crowns and the rest was like kind of like I said, it was kind of like grayish looking. Like in the clouds. So. And, you know, the Holy Spirit, they always give you bits and pieces. They don't never give you the whole the whole pr prophetic word, you know. So it was like bits and pieces that he showed me some of that. So, and he has his name inscribed on him, which no one knows or understands except himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood. Yeah, I oh, was speaking of the blood. Yeah, and Jesus, I didn't get to see his face because it was like kind of, I'm trying to describe it. It was like, you know how, yeah, like blood be on something and it leave, leave like a darkish stain. And that's what it was on the video footage. It was the same way. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then a part of his robe, like, you know, his um robe or whatever he was wearing was like, it had that same dark spot, like dark on it, like blood, you know, like dark dried up blood or just dark blood or something. And so, um, like I said, in his robe, in a robe dipped in blood. Um, and his name is called the word of God and the armies of heaven dressed in fine linen, dazzling white and clean followed him on a white horse yeah his armies like i said the angel that uh, the army or whatever that was behind him he said armies you know so i just said an angel because i assumed that it had to be one of the angels up there that you know they're fighting a war for him so it was behind him on a white horse as well and um from his mouth comes a sharp sword his word with which he strike down the nations and he will rule them with a rod of iron and he will tread the winepress and the fierce wrath of God the Almighty in judgment of the rebellious world and on his robe and on his thigh he has a name inscribed King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So now, this is now I'm reading about the doom of the beast and the false prophet. Then I saw a single angel standing in the sun. And with a loud voice, he shouted to all the birds that fly in mid heaven, saying, Come gather together for the great supper of God, 
so that you may feast on the flesh of kings, the flesh of commanders, the flesh of powerful and mighty men, the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them, and the flesh of all humanity, both free men and slaves, both small and great, in a complete conquest of evil. And verse 19 says, Then I saw the beast and the kings and political leaders of the earth with their armies gathered to make war against him who is mounted on the white horse and against his army. Yeah. And the beast, you know, the Antichrist was sized and overpowered, was seized and overpowered. And with him, the false prophet who in his presence had performed amazing signs which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshiped his image. These two were hurled alive into the lake of fire for which blazes with brimstone. And like I was telling y'all, you know, under when I, when, when I was looking at Jesus in the cloud on the white horse and then his army, you know, his um angel behind him and then the, the lion of the tribe of Judah, you know, the lion head with the sword coming out the mouth. I said under them on earth was a man with his arms stretched out wide and he was standing like in a lake of fire. And then the beast had the, the horns and he was like a little bit above the man, you know, because I guess he was the Antichrist. And it's saying that right here, y'all, in the scripture, in verse 19. Yep, these two were hurled alive in the lake of fire, which blazes with brimstone. And like I said, the man had his arms stretched out wide, you know, like he was, you know, how somebody be like screaming and shaking and like had their arms stretched out when they like on fire. That's how he was in the, um, the image that the Lord showed me, the Holy Spirit gave me. Yeah. And so in verse 21 says, and the rest were killed with the sword, which came from the mouth of him who sat on the horse and all the birds fed ravenously and gored and gored themselves with their flesh. So y'all, then after that, this the, that's the reading from the um from Revelations 19, 11 through 21. And it's saying the same thing that I saw in this angelic encounter that I caught on my um, security camera footage. Yeah, the same thing that the image was showing me. So I was like, oh my God, I'm still, look, my, my heart's still racing, y'all, just telling y'all what I saw. And I didn't want to give this message, but the Holy Spirit wanted me to. Because he know I like giving happy overflowing blessings you know <laughs> is your season and all of that stuff and not you know but i know i'm like david i'm like david he said david was a man after his own heart he'll do whatever he asked and i know that i'm a woman after his own heart of god's own heart and i would do whatever he asked if he say give this i'm giving it so i i know he'll give whoever have, has an ear to hear and a heart to receive this word that's who we receive it that's who we receive it in their spirit you can pray and go talk to the lord about it ask the lord to show you to give you some type of confirmation or revelation to know to receive in your spirit that it fall on good ground that that this word is no, is no this is no fake word this is real it's literal it's fact it's truth is i'm not making this up you know it's not symbolic it's not no exaggeration and pretend you know false i'm telling you what the holy spirit what they showed what he showed me and so anyway the holy spirit quickened my spirit with these words y'all the Lord wants you to get your lives in order. He doesn't want any one of us to perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus is going to return, but no one knows the time. Neither he nor his angels know the time of his return. Only his father knows. The Holy Spirit quicken my spirit with these scriptures. Second Peter, third chapter, ninth verse, Amplified Bible. The Lord does not delay as though he was, he were unable to act. And it's not slow about his promises. As some count slowness, but it's extraordinarily patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Yeah. And so Ephesians 4th chapter 30 verse, the Amplified Bible is what I read from. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, but seek to please him by whom you were sealed and marked, branded as God's own for the day of redemption, the final deliverance of the consequence of sin. Yes, y'all. So that's that's what he gave me. 
And that's a tough word. That's, oh my goodness, but it's true. It's prophecy. And so y'all, I pray to God, y'all take heed to this word and get yourselves together. Get yourselves in order. Get your lives in order, y'all. Don't don't just sin intentionally. You know, that deliberate sin. Because he is coming. And I don't know when. He don't know when. The Lord don't know when. The angels don't know when. But the father, our father, his dad, his father, he knows when. So he's just giving us time to get ourselves together, y'all. To get our lives in order. To repent. Humble ourselves. Repent. And ask him to help us. And guide us in all truth. And knowledge. You know, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, direction of him. So we can walk in his will and according to his word. So check out my YouTube channel. Click like, 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 share, 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 and subscribe if you would. Share this video with many so they can receive this word of God. So they can get this wake-up call. Because that's what it is. It's a wake-up call, y'all. It woke me up when I saw this on my footage. And I, I'm like, I had to show my fiance. Yeah. So this is a wake-up call, y'all. Because we all fall short of the glory of God. You know, he said, repent and you get back up. Uh -huh. Repent and get back up. So, um, if you have any prayer requests, you can reach me on my Gmail. I put it up in my description box, my description link, even on my YouTube channel. Um, and I can pray for you in my prayer language. And the Holy Spirit can intercede on your behalf. Um, share my podcast, if you would. Share with your friends and family so they can get this word in their spirit. Y'all, so they can get this revelation and knowledge so they can get themselves right for the Lord. You know, because he don't want none of us to perish, but to all have everlasting life. And so if you want to know more about me, check out the about section on my YouTube channel, Ambassador for Christ. And may the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you. Let his countenance be upon you and give you peace in Jesus name. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I just pray again that you give your people an ear to hear and a heart to receive this word. Whoever this word is for, Lord, I know it's for many. It's for all. Because you don't want none of us to perish, but for all to have everlasting life. In Jesus' name we pray. So blessings and blessings and blessings to you and your family. Until the Lord quickens my spirit to make another video. Blessings to all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.